Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back on AFK Journey. AFK Journey just had a huge update on the PTR server and we're getting very, very close to release now. I'm going to be covering the new update and patch notes in a future video, but today I wanted to check out the big boy that you're seeing in front of you guys right now on the screen, aka not me, the monster on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, that was cringy as fuck. Uh, anyways, um, it's essentially, this is a feature that I didn't get to try out last time, uh, which is the the Primal Lords. Uh, you're going to see a lot of new things here as well. This is all like release kind of stuff, so we're getting very, very close to release. You're going to see a lot of new updates and changes in the game if you watch my previous videos or like other content creators, i.e. a lot of stuff on the event screen. We're going to go over all this in a future video, but yet again, we're going to try and challenging this bad boy here. I don't know if my account is capable of doing this yet. I just want to attempt it. So what is this? It's essentially a server wide boss that has an enormous HP bar that as you can see, different players are going to be damaging down the boss over time. I love this feature. I want more games to do this because uh, I love this kind of stuff in games. And I'm really hoping that maybe in the future Star Rail picks up something like this. I think this would be a really good addition. So obviously there's going to be leaderboards, uh, there's a ton of rewards, uh, as you can see, the server rankings, which you get extra rewards for doing that as well as a title. If you get into the top 20, I'm not going to be getting into the top 20, just give me a heads up there. But let's try this out. Now, I don't know what teams are good for this thing. Uh, another change you're going to notice as well, just immediately right off the bat. If you've seen me play this game before, you've probably noticed on the PC version, there were like borders on the sides of the screen. They've removed that, they've expanded it. They're going to be trying to, from what I can understand, doing this as much as possible for the rest of the interface. Uh, the reason why they hadn't done this before was the interface was kind of like in beta, like the landscape PC interface. So they had like borders and everything. They're slowly starting to remove those borders, which is awesome. I don't know if all of them are going to be removed and they'll have the interface expanded everywhere. But the fact that the game looks like this now and I can actually, it just feels so much better on PC. I cannot state how big of a difference is and I, can, I cannot thank you guys enough, the, the dev team for doing this, because I think it's such a massive change and it makes playing the game on PC feel way better. Okay, so I don't really know who is good team wise and how I'm meant to be building this, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. Also, a little touch. I love it that there's like people, um, other players like watching me do this, which is kind of weird. All right, so we are just gonna chuck this in order. I want to see if we can even capable how much. So obviously you're not meant to kill the boss in one go. It's just try and do as much damage as you possibly can. I just want to see how how much I can do. Uh, cause I'm going to assume I'm not going to be able to perform super well. Dude, the more I see on this game, the more and more excited I get for the launch of this game. Cause this kind of stuff is what I love. This is awesome. This is such a good idea that they've even added this kind of feature into the game. This like server wide kind of boss that everyone gets to fight. I think it's so much fun. There's been so many good gameplay modes. The events have been great. Like character cast, like character building has been fun. Just this entire game, I was not expecting to enjoy as much as I have. So you can bet I'm going to be covering this game on release. I've got a, yet again, like I said, another video coming up very soon. I've got a team building video planned in the works. I've got a bunch of things planned for this game. And if you want to see that, consider subscribing, honestly, because I, I really do like this game quite a lot. Um, yeah, so we performed okay. I'm pretty sure that's probably not a very good score. There's probably people that are scoring way higher than me because my team is not super amazing yet. I'm only at like 3 million account power or something like that. Okay, was that, was that the English voice actor? Okay, not bad. I'll take it. Oh, you do get other EXP rewards and stuff in this. Okay. All right, so we get three, ba da uh, three battles per day. Oh yeah, people are doing way more damage than me. That's 6k, 14 million, 17 million, 13 million. Okay, yeah, people are, I'm definitely not gonna be ranking that high. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. All right, let's do another clear. So yeah, this is gonna be a really, really fun boss battle. There's probably things I could optimize this fight for as well. Uh, I bet you there'll probably be like um, better teams for this, better characters. I haven't even looked into meta teams for this one yet. This is something I'm gonna be uh, touching on in during launch. I'm gonna be playing, uh, Progressing that account and trying to figure out like things like this for you guys, which are the best teams. Uh, there's other resources out there that probably have that information as well. So I'll just relay that to you guys. But um, yeah, this is where like one of the big end game modes of this game is going to be. And it is awesome that this is the thing. Like I cannot stress enough how much I, <laughs> I like game modes like this. Like we need more stuff like this in games. I want Honkai Star Rail to take this and the, the guild battle system and just plonk that into Star Rail. Because like... I've said this before, I love Star Rail, but one of my biggest issues with it is like almost zero multiplayer interaction in terms of other than like the support system. But the problem is when you get to end game, the only people that really use your support system are gonna be like your friends or people on your friends list that are newer players. Once you get to that end game point, I'm not using the support system anymore. I have all the characters. I have most of the characters, sorry, not all the characters. 
I don't need to use other people's characters. Mine are built, I have them, kind of thing. So I really, really want them to take this system and just put it into Hongo Star Rail, honestly, because this game, this game does so many things that I just really, really love. And I want to see more games honestly do them. All right, I'm gonna take a look at this. Um, so he doesn't really have an element, but I'm gonna assume there are monsters that are better, uh, sorry, units that are better for this. There might be units like uh, this guy here who does a uh, physical difference shred that might be really good for bosses. I'm not sure, we'll have to look into that in the future. For now, I'm just gonna keep running the team and that I'm running currently. Just do all my damage for the three days. So I believe this runs over a certain amount of days and the goal is to just whittle down this boss's HP across the entire server and deal as much damage as we possibly can. And then I believe as a server, we get rewards based off how well we perform, which is awesome. I really, really, really like these types of stuff in games. And I really wish more games did this. Star Rail, yet again, take notes, please. <laughs> I need I need my multiplayer interaction. I love that kind of stuff in these games. It makes a reason. It makes feeling like pulling stuff feel fun and building things feel fun when you can not necessarily play with your friends, but at least like there's leaderboard things. You can compete with your friends. You can do this kind of stuff. And it's, it feels like you're working together as a server, which just, I don't know, it feels good. I really like this kind of stuff like a lot. Yet again, really cannot stress how big of a change the interface thing is here as well, removing the borders. I'll show you some other instances where they've like removed the borders. And honestly, yet again, fair like games, big props for you doing that. You're literally like, what, five days out from release? I'm just looking at the date on my computer. You're five days out from release. Like, this is what the game would have borders everywhere. They were trying to remove as much of this stuff as possible. I don't know if these ones are going to be removed, but the in-combat ones were. Big props to you, Fairlight Games. The fact that you're five days out from release and you're just straight up like removing the borders and shit, just like right now, th th that's incredible, like honestly. All right, so they're my three clears for the day. Um, yeah, we've got a bit to get through. This is gonna be overall rewards and yeah. We'll come back tomorrow and see how much of this has been whittled down. But as you can see, it's like, uh, what is that? Uh, God, is that a trillion? Oh my God, that's a lot. That's a 1.14 trillion HP on the boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, that's a bit. So I have done my highest. Oh, so it only takes your highest damage score. Okay, it doesn't take multiple damage scores. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. All right. Oh, I've got some tips as well. Oh, and it recommends range DPS. Okay, maybe I should switch over to that. Uh, okay, interesting. I might have to look into that and do some like actual video stuff on that. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I just wanted to take a look at the Alpha Bear Primal Lord raid. Uh, this shit's awesome. I want more games to do this, as I said multiple times in this video. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. I'll be making a video very, very soon on all the patch note kind of stuff and updates for this video. And yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in another time.